Oh, uh, Lillian, uh, this is Mr. Burns. Rieger. And this is Mr. Rieger. Burns. Yeah. It's my wife, Mrs. Her brothers. Yes. Hello. 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 Well, won't you sit down? Thank you. They're friends of Suzanne. Oh, yes. Well, Suzanne's in her room. Oh, could you tell her that I'm here and maybe I love her? Sit so, down. <laughs> First, I want to know what's going on. Uh, Mr. Carruthers. Mr. Carruthers, do you like to hear things with a lily gilded or straight between the eyes? Gilded. <laughs> you see, we've always tried to instill in our daughter the good grace to conceal virtually everything from us. <laughs> she hasn't told you anything? Not since 1971. <laughs> well, Mr. and Mrs. Carruthers, I think you better brace yourself. That's what I have to tell you. Oh, you come in. I heard that. Oh, John. Suzanne. Hold it. Sit down. This man is about to tell us something. Well, go on, sir. We're listening. Oh, uh, yes. Um, you sure you don't want it straight? Absolutely. Right. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Um... <clears throat> well, how's this? Do you believe in love at first sight? I believe the notion of love at first sight is a debasement of every moral, spiritual, and ethical value that I and my family hold dear. <laughs> This is no snap. <laughs> well, I'll have to give it to you straight, then. Um, this is what happened. Uh, three nights ago, John met your daughter in a bar. They fell in love, and after looking at each other countless times, drove to Maryland and got married. You were in a bar? <laughs> Mark, don't you understand? Our daughter is married, and this man is our son. Uh, but they're gonna get divorced. Oh. But John wants to stay married. Oh. But your daughter wants to get an annulment. Is this fun for you? <laughs> well, uh, once you get into it. No, listen. Well, I, look, uh, now that we all know, why don't we all just leave them alone together so that they could, um, or we could stay. <laughs> stare at each other. That's not such a bad idea. I think I've spent too much time in ducking things like this. Maybe the time has come to forget my fears and pay attention to my daughter. Yes, this is it. <laughs> the time has come to stay with her and face this thing head on, Mr. Riga. Right. in that motel room in Maryland. That's, that's it! That's no million. <laughs> Mr. Riga? Right. <laughs> Take your time, John. Don't worry about me. I'll be having fun standing in the kitchenette with Mr. and Mrs. Carruthers. <laughs> you want to stay married. I do. I figured you'd never want to see me again. Oh. Look, Suzanne. What happened was it just as much my fault as it was yours. You know, I think that's what brought us both together. We're both crazy. <laughs> I just think that for some reason, we had the instinct to be with each other. Now, I know it doesn't make sense, because we hardly know each other. But right now, I'd rather follow my instinct and not make sense. Suzanne? Will you not get an old with me? <laughs> no. Oh, that's too pretty. No, wait a minute. No what? Uh, no, I, I won't get an old. <laughs> I can't believe it. She said no. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, boy, you better be as nice as you seem. <laughs> I am. <laughs> hey, let's call your folks. Oh, Dad? Mom? Alex? What's wrong? Mr. and Mrs. Crothers, I'd like your permission to marry my wife. <laughs>